The MBS has just published poverty and inflation numbers, and they are quite high, surprisingly. What are the immediate concerns of these, uh, you know, records? I mean, three things worry me. One is the fact that um, 133 million people have been plunged um, into poverty. Now, that should worry every um, right-thinking Nigerian, especially at a time of heightening insecurity across the country. It means young people can't find jobs, and that means that the likelihood of them falling into crime becomes extremely high. The second, of course, um, is the record um, inflationary numbers that we've seen, the highest in 17 years, and worse is the food inflation that is being recorded. That means people have to pay much more um, for every food um, that they buy and eat. Recall that most Nigerians spend more than 40% of their income on feeding. Now, with the high inflation um, on food you know, and other items, particularly transportation, it means the average Nigerian will be spending over 60% um, of their income on food and transportation. And I think that is devastating because that leaves very little um, you know, for other consumption or discretionary spending. Um, you know, and that slows down the entire economy um, and stifles growth. Okay, do you think the manifesto is being presented by the leading candidates who address uh, these challenges? And I have looked at some of these manifestos and how they, you know, seek to address this challenge. I know that Atiku Abubakar wants a market-led economy uh, for the private sector to drive growth. Um, um, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu um, spoke specifically um, to inflation um, in his Renewed Hope Manifesto. And his argument um, was that we cannot deal with inflation um, by trying to stifle growth. If you recall that the response of the CBN um, towards this high inflation was apparently to tighten money supply, which is to raise interest rates from banks um, to essentially mop up excess liquidity from circulation. Um, but as Bola Ahmed has argued, that, that the real problem um, with the economy and inflation that we have seen is not just the disruption of the global um, COVID supply chain um, or the high gas prices occasioned by the crisis in Ukraine and, of, and, and Russia. The problem is um, that locally there are peculiar challenges like insecurity that has stopped hundreds of thousands of farmers from going to the farmlands. Um, is infrastructural challenges within our economy, um, is the reliance of importation of consumables that is driving these inflationary numbers. And to tackle that particular challenge, what we need to do um, is to ease in interest rates so that we can drive production in the economy. And like he has rightly warned, which I agree with 100%, if we continue to tighten money supply, if we continue to force interest rates to go high, what will happen is that businesses will be unable to borrow from banks. Many of them will fill their obligations to their banks, and that will inadvertently um, strangle the economy, will cause loss of jobs, uh, and of course, we just might lead to another recession. Um, so to that extent, um, I, I admit, I agree, uh, we're aligned, you know, with, with how he intends to deal with inflation. Um, and, and I think for, for Peter Obi, I haven't really looked um, at his, his manifesto regarding the economy, but if, if you follow what he has said consistently, um, one of the things that he wants to do um, is, of course, to tighten government spending, um, which is um, to stop um, this outlandish and this bogus spending from the federal government essentially to cut waste um, and be a lot more frugal, um, you know, at the federal government level. And that probably would increase a lot of savings, you know, for the economy. And that by and large, these are how um, some of these candidates have put forward arguments on how to deal um, with the challenges that we confront, um, specifically with the high inflation and unemployment and the astonishingly um, frightening poverty numbers that have just been published by the MBS. Okay, now food insecurity and other infrastructure deficits underlying, you know, the major indices. What have we failed uh, to look at as a nation? Uh, I think uh, on food, I, I think that the, the, the elephant in the room here has been insecurity. Um, what has happened over the last six, seven, perhaps a decade, 
is is that um, our food centers, particularly in the north central part of the country, have consistently been attacked, um, whether it's by bandits, whether it's by terrorists, or whatever you call them. They have essentially destroyed um, the food basket along the north central corridor and made it difficult for farmers to produce food. Um, it's even gotten worse in recent years because even farmers in the northwestern part of the country um, where a lot of um, tomatoes, paper, um, a lot of grains are being produced um, have been unable to access the farmlands because of insecurity. Um, and if you put all of these things together, it's made it extremely difficult. Um, it's, it's, it's reduced, it's forced food shortages across the country, which essentially has pushed the prices of food you know, upwards. Of course, infrastructural deficit is another problem. Um, the inability to move um, goods from farmlands to the markets at the most realistic um, and the most affordable rates is another issue that we have to deal with. And more recently, um, is that the flooding in the last month that has essentially ravaged many communities across the country is another thing that will push food prices a lot more you know, further. So I think that what we need um, is a national um, emergency plan um, to be able to ensure food security uh, you know, in our country, to ensure that we have enough, we push production up to be able to feed ourselves um, and to be able to export um, to the Global Committee of Nations. So except we do that, we will continue to struggle with food inflation and begin to price basic meal um, away from, um, you know, the average Nigerian who earns, um, you know, less than a dollar a day. Exactly. Thank you so much, Mr. Ayodele Adil. I thank you. We've been discussing about tackling inflation. I mean, with the MPI rating, I mean, the statistics that has been dropped just uh, yesterday. Thank you so much for sharing your views on this with us. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.